There she is. Man, it feels good to be back. We weren't even gone that long, like two days, but it feels like forever. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get up here. Ah, oh, man, love that. Love that drawbridge. Hey, everyone, it's Melee Damage 15 here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're here on day 18 here in Seven Days to Die, and we've got some great things planned for today. If you missed my last video, I'm going to leave a link in the top right corner, so go watch that and then come back to this one. All right, so last night... Um, we did a little bit of crafting, um, we, as you can see, my pistol and hunting rifle are a little bit better, so we combined some of the resources, um, some of the parts in the workbench, and we crafted up a little bit of shotgun slugs, we didn't really have much, uh, what's it called, we didn't really have much gunpowder, that's what we were missing, but we have decent amount of bullet casings now and bullet tips which we can take back with us um but yeah we weren't able to do too much because we didn't have a lot of um gunpowder used up the rest of the coal that i had with the nitrate we didn't have a lot of either of that but when we get back um i want to make that because we have a decent shotgun now uh this 319 one so once we find the actual shotgun schematic we'll be able to start combining things um but yeah 319 is pretty good to get us going it's our gonna be our highest um what is it called weapon um but that was pretty much it um as far as things that i did overnight um but if you look here <laughs> we had a breach overnight um yeah so we had a wandering horde come through and it was pretty rough um they came through busted through there and we had to run we took cover Kind of behind here and then we ended up taking uh cover running outside and then taking cover in the bunker base or the well bunker um that's over there so i'll go ahead and roll some of the clip right now Alright, so since it was off camera, there's not going to be any audio from me or anything like that, just the game audio. Um, but yeah, so, crazy night. Um, a little bit <laughs> too crazy for my taste. Um, but today we do have, like I said, we do have some good plans for today. Um, I'm really excited to get into it. We're going to build the mini bike. That's going to be first thing. Um, but in order to build the mini bike, I do need a battery. I need some wheels. And I need an engine. And I think those are the only things that I will need for right now. Go ahead and take you out. Oop, I need to reload. Nice. All right, let's go get this meat real quick. Um, we'll drop it back off in our chest. And then we'll start looking for all the resources that we need for the mini bike. Go ahead and carve you up real quick. Um, but yeah, that was um, honestly a crazy night. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to fight off the horde from the hatch that I had built. And then they came through that second door. They started busting through it. I was repairing it. And then uh, I think it was as I was trying to make a hatch for it, they ended up busting through. Um, so I was holding my own for a, a second here. And then they started jumping over um, this what's called counter started jumping over the counter and so i was like well i need to run so <laughs> i ended up running out and trying my best uh to fight him off a little bit from here as well uh but then ultimately ended up going into the well bunker and uh spending the rest of the night there so uh what do we got in here interesting i don't think i've ever seen this poi cool poi we'll take this 
once we build that uh, mini bike, we'll need some gas. So we got back here. Body cooler, nothing in either. Some cupboards. Okay, is that it? That just goes outside. Interesting POI. I think there's a gas barrel on the other side. Uh, there's a gas barrel here too. Very nice. Um, but yeah, so our priority is just going to be the la getting the last few things that we need for the mini bike. Um, so that way we can just have a ton of storage to take our things back so we don't have to make as many trips. Um, so I'm looking for cars right now that I can take apart. That we can get, we got some cars up here, um, so that we can get the battery and the engine. And then if we see any tires along the way, we'll go ahead and hit on those. And hopefully we can get one of those pretty quickly. Uh, I do have some zombies up here. Go ahead and search this real quick. Take all that. We'll start getting rid of this car. Get rid of you guys. Very nice. Got someone else coming. I can hear someone. Uh, maybe they're inside. Yeah, we're just sensed. We're not uh, found yet, so. Go ahead and get this girl up real quick. Alright, so I realized I missed the question of the episode last episode, so question of the day today, question of the episode today is going to be what are you guys most excited for for the new console version? Um, if you haven't already seen my newest update video, um, I'll leave a link for that as well. Um, but we have the console version coming soon, in July is what the fun pins has said. I think for me, what I'm most excited about is getting new weapons. I think all the new weapons is something that I'm really excited about and being able to add the mods onto those weapons. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, what you guys are most excited about and leave it in the comments below. Sweet, so we got a battery. So now all we need is, let search that. Uh, now all we need is an engine. So hopefully we can get an engine out of one of these cars. It seems like most of these cars are actually, like, completely broken down. Not a good sign. Okay, nothing there. Got zombies breaking through. Looks like we didn't get into this shed yet. Or maybe we went through the door. Yeah, we went through the door on that one. I was gonna say, I thought we went through all the sheds in the last episode. Um, there is a car over here, so we'll come over here. Uh, that one is already broken down. And yeah, really not too many cars in this city. Hopefully we can get an engine out of one of these. Got one over there, a red car. Um, but yeah, guys, um, just as I was saying, I'm super excited for the new console version for it going uh, 1.0 now. It's not even going to be alpha anymore, which is super exciting. They felt confident enough to release the, the game now. Um, a full release, I guess I should say. But what are you guys' thoughts on that as well? Do you guys think that it's too early? I know it's been in Alpha forever, but just based off of how Alpha 21 was looking, um, do you guys think that it's ready for a full release? Do you think that it should have remained in Alpha for a little bit longer while they polished up some things? Um, me personally, I think it was ready. Um, just based off of the way that it looks from what I've seen. I haven't watched a ton of Alpha 21 content. Um, I will every now and again, but the main content that I watch is console content. So I guess I can't be... Actually, what did we... We didn't get anything. Um, so I guess I can't 100% like... <laughs> I guess my... Or I guess my opinion, I should say, is not 100% um based off of like actual gameplay because i haven't done it myself 
but just from what I've seen, I think the game looks really good. It's definitely a way better and a big step up from what we have now here in the console version. So, yeah, <laughs> I'd say big step up. I think it's a good, a good opportunity. Um, a lot of negativity around on X. Uh, if you guys haven't already seen, if you guys go on to X, you'll see a lot of people complaining about it. Um, even in my video that I, uh, what's it called? In my video that I dropped, not like a ton of negativity more so on mine. Um, we had a decent amount of people that were still complaining about the game and like, oh my gosh, like it's not ready yet. Like they shouldn't have released it yet. This is not really going to be 1.0. They're just trying to be, uh, get cash grabs and stuff like that. So decent amount of ne negativity, but to burn that. Um, but it's, uh, there's going to be negativity with every game. I feel like I personally am just really excited. I love this game. So I will continue to support this game. A lot of people were disappointed about the price, um, which you haven't, if you haven't seen already, the price is going to be $44.99. So a little bit on the price your side. Um, they did say at PAX East that it wasn't going to be a $60 game, which <laughs> I guess they kept their word on that. It's not a $60 game, but some people were even saying that it wasn't worth that much. Uh, hello? Um, but yeah, so I feel like everybody's gonna have their own opinion on things like that, so it's not much you can do. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you haven't watched uh, my video, like I said, I'm gonna leave a link in there. Um, several other content creators have put out their own videos as well. Um, even on the fun pips um, on YouTube page, you can look up the actual video there where they talk about everything. They show the roadmap. The roadmap is really cool. I really like how they laid out everything of all the updates that they have planned to come out. So, uh, we did get the engine. Okay, cool. So we got the engine. We got the car battery. Um, what did we drop here? Short iron pipes. Um, let's scrap this. Pick that up and then scrap that as well. Okay, now all we need to do is we need to look for tires. Let me get them here. And we can. Nice. And they're 581. Holy crap. Really good. Alright, so we're full on inventory anyway, so let's go ahead and head back. Alright, we're back at the crack of book. Let's go ahead and dump inventory. All right, sweet. So we even got it. That's a decent engine, honestly. Let's go ahead and combine these batteries. Give us a 289 battery, not too bad. And then what do we need? I actually did create something. What did I create? Put it in here. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. So I created the chassis already. Uh, so now we need handlebars, then the mini bike handlebars. Let's see. Alright, for handlebars we need duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, and then short iron pipe. Duct tape, uh, mechanical parts, short iron pipes, and I believe it was leather. I do need cotton for the seat. Let's go out and grab some cotton real quick. There'd be plenty out here. Uh, got a bird's nest here. Nice, I'll take the egg. Super excited to go back and to, um, what's it called? Get our farm going. Our farm should be ready to harvest. I don't know how many cotton we need, so I'm just going to grab a bunch. Um, but yeah, our farm should be ready to harvest, so I think I'll be able to actually um, get some of those potatoes going. Because we planted them all in fertilized soil. Which, speaking of that, I had I think I had some fertilizer going in my... M station as well, so we might have some fertilizer ready for us to plant or to place down into our farm as well. So, yeah, I'm excited for all that. We should be able to get some meat stew going here. Um, maybe not this time around, now that I think about it, because I think you need corn as well. So, we'll just have to see. All right, uh, let's see. Handles. All right, so we got the handlebars going, and then the mini bike handlebars. We do need a headlight. I think we have headlights in here. We do. Good thing I didn't scrap them. 
go ahead and take those handlebars. And mini bike handlebars, what am I missing? I need electrical parts. I need five of them. Uh, do I have any? Oh, I do. Cool. 28. Uh, I want to start creating some lights, too, when we get back to our base. I think it'd be cool to have some lights around the outside. Maybe even a little bit on the inside, but mainly on the outside, just to kind of light up our base. Um, and then I need the seat. Mini bike seat. What am I missing for that? Some more short iron pipes. Ooh, do I even have any? I think that was all I had. Dang, I shouldn't have been scrapping them. Okay, I'm going to have to make up a couple. Um, I think I just need more iron in here, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and put that stack down. Get that going up. I don't think I have any iron actually on me. Short iron pipes. Okay, so it takes 10 per, and how many do I need? For the seat, I need four, so that'll be... Was that 40? Three, three so far. And that's four. All right, so uh, where did it go? Short arm pipes, four. That's really quick. I can take this forge iron too. I pumped out the rest of the forge iron that I could get as well. I'll leave a little bit of clay in here. We're going to leave this forge here, I think. Yeah, those will just kind of be like a little base for us if we come back to the city. So, just nice to have something here. I think I'm going to take the workbench though. I don't know yet. I think it, yeah, I think it'd be nice to have the extra workbench. The forge is not... I already have two forges, so that's not as... Uh, what's it called? Like, as necessary, but... Having the extra workbench will be nice. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, a basket. I need a basket. I think there's baskets in here. Alright, 509. Not bad. Uh, what else can I do? Let's go ahead and just combine this iron pickaxe. I just saw it real quick. 12. Very nice. Okay. Let's get this mini bike going. Alright, so we gotta put the chassis down. Perfect. And then it's this one, I believe. Yep. We got the seat, the shopping basket, the engine, the wheels, uh, battery, and handlebars. Sweet. So, like I said, this is just our first one. Um, really excited. We have a mini bike now, guys. Uh, this is just our first one. So, once we get back to our main base, um, we can make this stuff better, combine um, different uh, items and stuff like that to make a better mini bike. So, right now, it's only 10 meters per second on the speed up here. And noise is soft, so I think we can increase both of those. I think it's 15 meters per second is the fastest. Uh, so once we get a better engine, better battery, I think that'll help with that. And with the noise as well, so. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this into gas. Sweet. Oh, let's get off that real quick. And let's go ahead and fill this up. Sweet. Okay. And let's go ahead and grab the items that we're going to be taking with us. We do have a good amount of gas that we can take with us. Uh, just so we're not wasting an extra space. We're going to leave that. Um, i tell you what, guys. I will be right back. And I will be right back with everything that I'm going to take. So, see you guys in a second. Alright, so we grabbed everything that we needed, I think, for right now. This is what we're going to leave for right now. The reason why is just because it's literally all shotgun stuff, and I don't have the shotgun schematic, so there's really nothing I can do with these things right now. Um, eventually, I can come back for them. And then there's just a ton of food left, um, grain alcohol. I have enough water, things like that for right now. I think I'll be... Let's just take the bottled water with us. Why not? Uh, everything else, canned food... Um, Jar of honey, I think I'll be okay on for right now. Moldy bread. Yeah, just ultimately everything else I think we are okay on. Blue, maybe I need, but I think it'll be fine. I did take the duct tape with me. We got everything in our inventory here that we're taking, and then I already loaded up the mini bike. 
so this is everything that we got in the mini bike here so um let's see we are going to be heading south pretty much straight south so let's go ahead and get on out of here the city has been nice to us but it is time to move on oh man guys i can't tell you how happy i am and how happy it makes me that we have the mini bike now uh, let's see where's the road here we go a little bit of off-roading to start <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I'm super excited now that we have this. It just everything moves so much faster now. Oh, this is great. Um, but yeah, so we're going to head back to our city. Um, I was thinking of making the trip to come back right away, but I don't think we will. I think we're going to go ahead and stay in our city for right now. We'll dump all the loot. We might hit up a couple buildings. A um, few other places that I can still loot in our town. And then what I want to do before the horde is I want to go back to our first town that we stopped in and grab whatever loot that I need from there as, as well. But I don't think we're going to have enough time to do that in here in this episode. Um, we might. I mean, it's not super far. Well, actually, we probably should have. Well, we don't have the. Never mind. Yeah, we don't have the space to do it. I was going to say we probably should have done that now, but we don't have the space to do it, obviously. So, um, but yeah super excited um we do have actually you know what we do have an airdrop out here somewhere close to this city so after we dump this loot we're gonna come back out grab the airdrop and then we'll go from there maybe even just work on, on our base a little bit kind of be a chill episode we have the mini bike now we're using it it's already coming in handy so i think that i think that's what we'll do so i'll meet you guys when we get back to our base there she is. Man, it feels good to be back. We weren't even gone that long, like two days, but it feels like forever. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get up here. Ah, oh, man, love that. Love that drawbridge. Go ahead and just lift that up so we don't get any unwanted visitors. And let's just go ahead and dump loot. Um, I think I'll just dump everything into here for right now, and then I will... Go back and sort it later on. And we can grab everything out of our mini bike as well. Got a bunch of food while we were there too. Raw meat. So that's actually really handy as well. I'll just throw the raw meat straight into here for right now. I think I want to put the... I think I want to put this up on like a block or something. It's... Too short. I hate having to like duck down to <laughs> grab it. All right. We actually did get two tool and die sets, so let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll put that in our main forge. Uh, I still need calipers. Do I not have calipers? Interesting. Guess I never found them. Thought I had found them at one point, but I guess not. Well, oh, that was quick. So let's go ahead and. Um, let's check on fertilizer real quick. Yeah, so we do have five fertilizer. Super nice. And then what I will do, we'll put that up real quick. Let's go ahead and get the airdrop, which is north. Was that northwest a little bit? Go ahead and get that airdrop, see what's in there. And we can bring that loot down here. And then, yeah, I think we're just going to spend the rest of the time in the city. Um, we'll go ahead and harvest everything in our farm. We'll get that going um, so that that can continue to grow. Because so everything should be um, all grown up now. So we'll be able to do that. Let's run over this zombie now that we have a mini bike. Oh. I don't know if he died. He did, did, did he die? Nope, he's getting back up. <laughs> All right, let's see. It should be just up here. Here we are. Okay, sniper rifle barrel, beaker, sniper rifle parts. A bunch of antibiotics and painkillers. Very nice. Come up here real quick. There's a couple of these tree stumps. Nice, some bullet... Uh, what are they called? Bullet tips. Uh, we do have a padlock, some black denim pants, and some bullet casings. Nice. Um, uh, what is it called? Gunpowder and some shades. We can go ahead and scrap those. Scrap the pants. 
anything else? Don't think so. But while I'm out here, let's go ahead and get some of these rocks. It's been a minute since we've mined up some of these rocks. So this will be nice to get some, uh, what is it called? Some iron going in our forge here. We need a lot more iron. We still need to make the, what is it called? The iron bars around the top of our base. Um, I think we have a few iron bars, um, but to go all the way around, I want to say it's something like 30, between 30 and 40 blocks, I think, all the way around the base. So we're going to need a decent amount of blocks to get around because it's 11, what was that, 44 basically, 11 times 4. It's 11 by 11, so we got to make sure that we get all of that around. Um, and then we also need more iron for our spikes that are on the bottom as well, so we can turn those into higher quality iron because right now it's just on the, the first level iron and the zombies broke through that pretty easily um, on our last horde night so we do have horde night coming up in three days um, so which means tomorrow is going to be dog day so definitely something to uh, be a little bit wary on um, since we're probably gonna head to our other city and grab the loot from there so definitely something to look out for uh, there we go. I do need to also... What is it called? Nothing there. Um, I do need to also upgrade the blocks, the frames for our stairs, since they're just frames right now. Upgrade those to cobblestone, so that'll be all finished, and we'll have everything there. And then I talked about it in... What was that? Episode 15, I think it was? Yeah, two episodes ago, basically, um, I talked about um, putting a frame around the drawbridge. I think it looks kind of dumb with it just kind of sticking up like that. But if we put a frame around that, we might even be able to line like a top part of the frame. I'm picturing it in my mind. You guys might not really understand what I'm talking about, but kind of a top frame um, around the base as well um, at the level where the drawbridge goes up to. So I think it'll look pretty nice doing doing it that way. And then like I said before, I think that's going to be good for right now. Like I said before, I want to also line up the base with a little bit of lights as well. Um, just to kind of light up the place too. So we're going to need some more... I've never made the lights. I know you have to use electronics, but I don't know if it's electrical components um, or the electrical part or both. Nice. Um, so I'm going to have to look into that as well. Some more food definitely need a, need a lot more food as well because we only got i think it was 20 raw meat which is great don't get me wrong but definitely still gonna need more so we can feel good on um what's it called on food food supplies so you're gonna die this time around nice all right, let's go ahead and get up a couple trees, too, because I think I'm pretty low on wood as well. I haven't really had an episode where I've been able to just collect a bunch of resources in a while. I think since episode 13, when we prepared for the, or the day 14 horde, so I think that was the last time that we really got a decent amount of the resources. So hit up a couple trees. Oh, just this one and the one that we just did, so... We still need to go back and get the farm going too. I want to get that done before the end of the day. Let's go ahead and drop this loot off. Grab everything up from the farm. Am I actually no no yeah, I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need my iron hose, so we're gonna need to grab that too. I was gonna say we might be able to just grab it right here since we're gonna be right next to it. Oh, that was right here. Um but yeah, I need the iron hoe too, so we'll grab that. Sweet. Go ahead and jump off real quick. And it should be in this area. Let's go ahead and dump everything real quick. Uh, I'm not going to really have enough space to do it, but it's fine. Just dump what we can. Okay, and then Iron Ho, where are you at? Right here. Put you up you down and we got five more 
I have more uh, fertilizer that we can put down here. So really nice. We're really coming along here now. We're going to want to make sure to continue to put potatoes and corn in the fertilized spots. So that, that way, because those are the two ingredients for a meat stew. Those are the main things that we need. I think that's it. I think it's just potatoes, corn, water, and the meat, right? I think that's it. All right, get up all these coffee beans. Perfect. Nice. We got a lot of stuff going for us. So let's go ahead and turn these all into seeds. I want all those seeds. I want all the aloe. Oops. Uh, we can get it. There we go. I want all the aloe into seeds. Let's go ahead and turn... Do 10 of these as seeds. And yeah, we're going to have to do all of the corn. So won't be able to make any meat stews yet. But next harvest we should be able to. And all the blueberries. Uh, that's already in seed form. Um, we'll go ahead and do... Maybe 15 goldenrod, just so we can keep that going. Uh, cotton. I don't really need too much cotton. Just do 10. Our queue is already full. So let's go ahead and place these down. I think I was going in this direction, so there we go. Uh, was that everything? Yep, that was everything. Okay, so we got an entire row now of all fertilized. Okay, so what was the next thing? Cotton. So 10 cotton, and then that's our, oh yeah, that's right. Coffee bean is already in its own form, so go ahead and put these all up. We'll take the corn, potato seeds, and the yucca. So let's go corn here. Two, three, four. We'll do five of those, and this is going to be four. Yeah, there we go. Four potatoes. Put everything else down here. Get the aloe going, and the goldenrod. Perfect. And then we have the cotton seeds and then the coffee beans. Go ahead and place these cotton seeds. I think that's going to be perfect, actually, too. And then the rest is going to be coffee. So a lot less coffee than what we had, which is nice. I definitely want more of it to be other things because I'm not going to be using coffee as much. The main reason why we had coffee is to sell it at the end of the day. So, I mean, that's only 28 right now, but once we get our bartering up and we have a full stack of coffee beans, it's going to really add up. Same thing with some of our other props as well. All right, perfect. So, we got our next harvest going. Super exciting. And let's go ahead and grab out this meat. Go ahead and throw that into... Um, what's it called? The campfire here. So we don't smell like meat. And then let's grab out our claw hammer and whatever cobblestone rocks we have left. We got 600. And let's go ahead and build these up. Didn't really get any work on the base, but that's fine. Ooh, I was scared. I was going to break my leg there. At least I know I don't break my leg from that fall. Now, zombies is another story, and they're going to be running, so they might break their legs. But if they don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, this 
drop here or this drawbridge thing wasn't for them to break their legs or anything like that but i wanted to make um a gap so that at least they can run over it and fall down and it wasn't just completely blocking the base so that was the whole idea for that sweet um oh, we're not gonna be able to get to the middle huh we might have to pick up some of this um, we're going to leave it there for right now because it's basically nighttime, but we might have to pick up some of this to get to the, the two middle blocks. Because uh, right now I don't have access to it, so. Go ahead and get here. Oh yeah, but so what I was talking about, since we can kind of visualize it here, is I want to make some frames going up all around this. In fact, I'll actually do it real quick just to show you guys. Uh, do I have any more cobblestone frames? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Really? Do I not have cobblestone frames? Okay, well, we can make some. Uh, not resources. Building. Cobblestone frames. Let's go ahead and just make 30. Get that going. Okay, so what I was talking about with this is we can go up around here. Build up right here. A little bit higher. There, like that. And then... I have to jump and do it. Oh no, I can get it there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Sweet. We'll go up here. There we go. Just like that. So these blocks around here also are going to be um, iron bars. So these, this will all be iron bars all the way around. But yeah, so this will... I'll upgrade that to cobblestone just so it actually looks better. Because before it was literally just hanging. So that looks a ton better. And then what I was talking about before is I want to connect blocks. Um, just the top layer around to the edges, we'll, we'll make sure that it goes down to, well, that's on the outside, isn't it? So it won't connect down to this. Um, unless I stop it early. I might, yeah, I can just stop it right here and then connect it here. We can connect it to all the pillars here just so it has some support and kind of go around the base. It's a wandering horde. Yeah, it's another wandering horde. Jeez, man, never get a break with these wandering hordes. Um, but yeah, and then that way we can, um, what's it called? Um, that way we can, so I didn't even think. Ooh, we got people going up really high. Turn down my volume real quick. Um, but yeah, so that way we can, um, just for the aesthetic purposes, just make it look good. Because this is our main base after all. We want to make sure that it looks good and that we're going to be excited to come home every day, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's take out these zombie jerks, man. They really are, honestly. Messing up the end of my episode, man. I didn't want you guys here. But you guys got to be here. No, you're not going to get my legs. You almost did. Man, they just keep coming. And I always, I always get kind of scared when I hear the uh, sound of like the metal breaking because it sounds like they're breaking in. <laughs> but all it is is that they're breaking the. Um, the spikes down uh, to the wooden uh, level. Ooh, man. Okay, we're full. Dump some stuff off in here. Why it's here. So I can grab the rest of that loot again. Come on. 
All right, we'll just leave it as that. Got some crawlers left to deal with. Not too bad. Got one more crawler coming through. See if we can take you out here. Gonna have to craft up some more arrows too. We're almost out. Okay. I think we got him. Yep. Undetected. Sweet. Anybody around the back? Nope. We are good. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of this body real quick. Alright, use that. Grab some of that. And I think we're just gonna spend the night sorting our loot since we have so much loot from the other city. I don't think we have anybody else coming, so I think we're good. We don't have anything going on, so we shouldn't be visited by any Dreamers or anything like that. So I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave me a like. And like I said before, comment what are you most excited about for the new console release. I really would love to hear what you guys' thoughts are and what you guys thought about my video. And like I said, if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. Um, you're definitely missing out. I got some really good stuff for you. I tried my best to make sure I lay, laid everything out for you, the most important things that you needed to know. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.